Hi, this is Matt with Fully Silent PCs. I recently had the opportunity to test the first from Monster Labo. This is a passive heatsink case that promises to cool up to a 100 watt TDP processor and a 120 watt TDP graphics card at the same time with no fans. There are only two other commercially available cases that can claim anything close the HD Plex H5 and the Streetcom DB4. HDPlex recommends up to 95 watts for both the CPU and GPU. Streetcom recommends up to 110 watts for the CPU and 75 watts for the GPU. You wouldn't be wrong in thinking that even 95 watts isn't really enough for a good graphics card. While I have found that the HDPlex H5 does work well with 120 watt GPUs, a better performing passive GPU cooler would certainly be welcome. Monster Labo loaned one of the first cases to me for testing. I used components that I had on hand at the time, an Intel i7-8700, NVIDIA GTX 1660Ti, and an ASRock H370M ITX motherboard. I ran Prime95's torture test with 12 threads for half an hour to stress the CPU, Furmark for half an hour to stress the GPU, and then both at the same time to see how the first holds up. I want to add one caveat about the results. The ASUS Phoenix 1660Ti card and ASRock H370 motherboard were not perfectly compatible with each other and this case. As a result, the i7-8700 CPU did not make perfect contact with the CPU block of the case, and results would likely be better with a more compatible configuration. That said, I thought the results were still successful and worth sharing. I repeated the stress tests three times, one with the case's skin intact, one with the top cover removed, and one with the entire skin removed, just to see what kind of difference the skin makes to the performance of this case. I removed any power limits to the CPU and saw a maximum sustained power draw for the CPU of between 90 watts and 100 watts. The GPU had a maximum sustained power draw of between 120 and 130 watts. With the skin fully in place, the CPU reached a maximum of 88 degrees Celsius, and the GPU reached 79 degrees. With the top plate removed, the CPU reached 85 degrees, and the GPU reached 75 degrees. With the skin fully removed, the CPU reached 84 degrees, and the GPU reached an incredible 63 degrees C, fully passively. With results like these, the Monster Labo First can be considered the best performing fanless heatsink case available today. I did not get any coil wine with these components, so it was truly fully silent. An optional fan can be added for even lower temperatures if you don't mind a bit of sound. Installation of the first was quite difficult, and compatibility is far from perfect. If you are considering building a PC with this case, please pay close attention to Monster Labo's compatibility list. If you don't have any interest in assembling the PC yourself, Monster Labo offers pre-built options at monsterlabo.com for European customers. If you live in the United States, or don't like the options available directly from Monster Labo, I also plan to offer custom PCs built with the Monster Labo first at fullysilentpcs.com.